Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video unboxing my new uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic Touch 4G. Nice long name. Uh, from what I hear though, this device is amazing. So I'm very excited. It is a bit of a modified unboxing since uh, this phone is used, uh, but I just got home and uh, I really haven't had a chance to open it and really play with it and look at it yet. So uh, this is going to be one of my first times basically opening it up and looking at it. I do want to give a shout out to my good friend Michael who hooked me up with this phone. He, uh, let's just say he gave me a very good deal, very generous deal, and I really do appreciate it. So big thanks to Michael right there. Uh, but anyways, back into the unboxing. Uh, as you can see, just to look at the box, um, very nice design of the box. As you can see, the phone screen's so big it can't fit on one side, so they gotta make it fit on two. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see on the back, Give some information about the phone, but let's go ahead and open it on up. So open it on up. As you can see, there's the phone right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get get to that in just a little bit. But uh, underneath the phone is, I believe, some manuals. So go ahead and take this box out. Yeah, there's some manuals inside there. It's just a little booklet, probably some instruction manuals, give you some information about it. But as you can see, there's only three things in here. There's a USB cable, plug into your PC and transfer files, things of that nature. You got a wall charger, USB, so you can go ahead and just uh, plug that into the wall and start charging your phone if you need to. And the battery. So I guess right now the phone doesn't have the battery in it. It has an 1800 milliamps battery. I believe I said that right, milliamps. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but anyways, 1800. I know the Epix was 1500, so I'm hoping this will help extend extend battery life a little bit. From what I hear, the battery life is great, so I'm looking forward to testing it out. I'm going out of town this weekend, so I'm not going to be able to make any how-to videos just yet but i will as soon as i get back sunday night so i'll be making a how-to video so don't worry guys but i'll also be able to test it out and give a review of it i'll probably do a review of it as well and point out some key features that it has i might actually also compare it with other phones such as the let's see motorola photon right here so just be on the lookout for videos like that you can subscribe to me to uh be on the lookout for those videos but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and grab the phone as you can see it's a really, uh, the screen is huge. This is awesome. I really do like the big screen. I'm, I'm not a fan of smaller screen phones. I'm someone that does really like to have a big screen. Um, I believe I will have no problem fitting this into my pocket either. And from what I noticed, it's really light. Obviously, the battery's not in it, but still, it's also really thin. Holy cow, that's very thin. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but that's a very thin phone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the back up and then pop the uh, battery in. So to take the back out, I'm going to go ahead and just pop it off from the top. It's kind of finicky. So let's see if I can let's see if I can get this <laughs> without breaking it. That would kind of suck. Okay, sorry guys. So pops it back up. As you can see, got uh, you have the uh, battery spot and also a micro SD slot right there. So uh, as you can see, there's no micro SD slot that is in there. It doesn't come with one. So just a heads up there, it does not come with a micro SD card, but it does have 16 gigabytes of internal memory there. So you really don't need one unless you need a little extra memory. So just a heads up there, I believe this phone has a dual core processor, 1.2 gigahertz as well as running Android 2.3. And it also the screen size, it's it's 4.52 inches. So obviously one of the, I believe the biggest one out there right now, biggest Android phone screen out there. So just a heads up, look, o look over the uh, hardware. You got uh, menu, home, back, search, I believe in the same order as the Samsung Epic 4G. Uh, so just a heads up there, you got a front facing camera. I wanna say it's two megapixels. I'm not positive though, so I'm pretty sure 2 megapixel camera, you got uh, some sensors up there as well. And on the back, you got an 8 megapixel camera with a LED light right there. So there you go right there. As I said earlier, micro SD card slot. I guess I can go ahead and pop this in and turn it on. So power buttons on the side here, and you have two volume buttons, and that's it. No dedicated camera button right there. So. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of having a de dedicated camera button. I do like having that, but this one doesn't. Just volume up and down and power button. So if I do power it on, 
like so. Doesn't look like that. There it goes. Samsung Galaxy S2, as you can see. As I, I call it, it's a Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic Touch 4G. So there you go. Same uh, boot screen as I believe the old Samsung Epic. But uh, this, I'm going to go ahead and just call it the Epic Touch 4G. So if you hear me saying Epic Touch 4G, it's just I'm referring to this phone. Epic 4G is the old one with a keyboard. Just heads up there. So go ahead and unlock it. There you go. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do a run through of the software. I'll do a separate video reviewing just the phone specifically. I just kind of wanted to point out some things that the phone had, just how cool it was, and screen size, things of that nature. But uh, stay tuned for future, many future videos for this phone. So definitely uh, be on the lookout for those. Uh, if you do have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'll uh, be sure to get back to you guys if you do have any questions or comments. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. Uh, the links to that will be in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe to me as well, as I said, for future how-to videos. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like the video.